BFTB best fight the best so I just read an article uh, that Anthony Joshua is has locked in his next two fights at Wembley one on the 22nd and one on the 19th of April of 2019 so this is kind of strange to me um, because Pavekin, the Pavekin deal to my knowledge is not signed there's been no purse bid there's been nothing. To my knowledge, they're still in negotiations. So, is this Anthony Joshua ducking Pavekin? Is Anthony Joshua ducking Pavekin? And let, let, me, let me clear this up. Because Anthony Joshua is now contractually obligated. He is contractually obligated for his next two fights to be locked in at Wembley on the 22nd and the 19th. So if they can't get a deal done with Povetkin, if they can't get something locked in on the 22nd at Wembley, if Povetkin is not, if his Verbinski and them are like, nope, we're not fucking doing that. We want this fight in Russia. We're the mandatory. We want this fight in Russia. Then Joshua can drop the WBA belt and say, hey, I, I didn't have a choice in dropping this belt. He can save face and not fight Povetkin. He can say, well, I didn't have a choice. You know, I'm contractually obligated to fight, I mean, to fight at Wembley on this date. You know, and then the, the, the AJ fan bitches and protectors will be like, well, yeah, it's not Joshua's fault that he dropped the belt. It's not his fault. He, he was locked in. He had to fight at Wembley. He's contractually obligated and locked in. But I find it I find it strange that that we're that he would lock in a date without even finishing a purse bid or or negotiations with Pavekin. Like how can you lock in a date for a fight when you're in negotiations? You know, you're in negotiations for a mandatory fight. And in a mandatory fight, you're going to end up, you know, the A side can end, or not the A side, because it's not really the A side when it comes to a mandatory. When it comes, the only thing that the only thing the A side gets preferential treatment in a mandatory is the purse split, you know. But if it goes to a if it goes to a a purse bid, then the the a and B side doesn't matter. You, you have to go to where whoever wins that purse bid wants that fight to be at, and nobody is beating Rubinsky in a purse bid. It's not going to happen. It's not. He's clearly the richest man in boxing. Clearly, the richest owner or promoter, however you want to call it, without question, he's clearly the richest in boxing. Clearly, so nobody is going to beat him in a purse bid. Nobody. It's just all about where he wants to stop at. And <laughs> that's pretty much what it is. If he wants to stop at, you know, if you say you go to three and he goes to four, and that's as far as you're going to go, well, then that's as far as the fucking purse bid, that's where it'll end at. But if you go to 40 and he goes to 41, then that's just where it'll end at. So at the end of the day, the purse bid, when it comes to Rabinsky, depends on where, where you go. It depends on your limit. Depends on your bank. How far you can top out. So for everybody talking about Joshua makes $20 million a fight, cool. Well, if you make $20 million a fight, right, and you're going to make $20 million off of this fight with Povetkin, well, then you better go to like $60, $70 million in the purse bid. <laughs> you better go to that. You better go up there. You better be willing to put up that money. Because if you're not willing to put up that money, I mean, well, it don't really matter how much money you put up because Rubinsky's just going to go over. So it doesn't really matter what you put up. But that's that's the amount of money you're going to have to put up in order for Joshua to make $20 million of this fight. Otherwise, if you, if you put it to purse bid and you put up $10 million, Rubinsky will just put up 11. And you're not going to fucking get $20 million out of that. So, I mean, I just feel like the either there's some fucked up editing in this article when they're talking about 
you know, Joshua's next, his potential next two opponents is Wilder and Vivekin. Because there's no potential in a mandatory fight. No, in a mandatory fight, this is the fighter you're fighting. There's no potential in that. And that's what the article said. The article said, um, Anthony Joshua has locked in his next two dates and the two potential opponents are Pavekin and Wilder. So you don't have potential for a fight, um, for a mandatory fight. There's no potential for a mandatory. That that man that that fighter is your man. That's your fighter. That's who you're fighting. So it seems as if no, this isn't no seem. Based on that article, Anthony Joshua is ducking Pavekin. Based on that article, Anthony Joshua is ducking Pavekin. He's already ducked Wilder, and based on the article that just came out, he's ducking Pavekin. Because he's trying to force Pavekin to fight at Wimbledon. He's saying, this is where we're fighting. Period. This is, this is where my fights are locked in. I'm locked in for here. I'm contractually obligated to fight here. So, if you can't fight me here, then we just can't fight. This is a duck move. He, Anthony Joshua is ducking Pavekin. He is clearly ducking Pavekin. The negotiations are still ongoing. No contract has been signed. So Anthony Joshua is trying to force Pavekin's hand. He's forcing, he's saying, Anthony, Hearn and Joshua are saying, you either fight me at Wembley or we just don't fight. That's what they're saying. Because we're locked in at Wembley. Because he's already proved um, that he can duck Deontay Wilder. He can duck 50 million and the fans will still fucking support him. He's already proved that. So at this point, ducking Pavekin isn't going to be that big of a deal. Now, see, he's already proved that he can duck Deontay Wilder. He already proved that. So at this point, ducking Pavekin is like, whatever, man. I, already, I ducked one person, so ducking somebody else isn't going to hinder me. And the fans will still support him. They'll say, well, just like I said, hey, well, he's contractually obligated to fight at Wembley. So, Pavekin, you can either fight, um, or you can either fight at Wembley, or you just don't get a mandatory shot. You just don't get no payday. That's what they'll say. You don't get no payday. That's the excuse they use. This is a clear duck to me. A clear duck. Unless this fight is already signed and they're just not saying anything about it, this is a clear 100% duck. The second in a row. The second duck in a row. Absolutely pathetic, man. Absolutely pathetic. You don't have the potential to fight your mandatory. You fight your mandatory. You don't have the potential. There's nothing wrong with Pavekin. Nothing. And if he's juicing, so what? You're juicing, Joshua. And if you ain't juicing, prove it. Talking about we're going to do VADA testing for 10 weeks. Get the fuck out of here, man. Get the fuck out of here. Look, you haven't signed the contract yet. There's no contract signed. So how are you going to say, this is where my next fight is happening? Just lock it in. I'm just, this is it. This is done. Well, what if Pavekin and Rabinsky don't want to fight at Wembley? Then what? This is fucking, this is, this is pathetic, man. Joshua just had, I have no respect for this dude. And if this fight, if he, if he does what I think he's doing, trying to force Rubinsky and fucking Pavekin's hand and saying that we're going to fight at Wembley and if we don't fight at Wembley on the 22nd then we're just not fighting we're just not fighting because we're contractually obligated and Joshua's a big enough star that he can drop the belt and the belts don't matter I think they're going to try to pull some shit like that if he does that man this dude is just disgusting man if that's what he does he's already pathetic but if he does that he's disgusting absolutely disgusting you're supposed to be a world champion, but all you've been doing is fighting in one spot, one location. That's it. The UK. That's it. But you're supposed to be a world champion. And you're talking about other people fighting in other fucking countries, in other places. But you're supposed to be a world champion. You're a UK champion. Until you fight outside of the UK, you're a UK champion. And that's it. You are clearly, if this article is correct, Joshua is ducking Pavekin. He's ducking Pavekin. 
This is a duck move. BFTB and I'm out.